Hi class. Happy learning. Lecture time again. We're in chapter six. And we're going to talk about uh, the integumentary system and the skeletal system today and uh, what disorders are common to these systems as well as what uh, laboratory tests are usually ordered uh, to assist in diagnosing diseases and uh, disorders of these systems. So your integumentary system consists of your skin, your hair, your sweat glands, teeth, and fingernails. Its structure and function is the skin is the largest organ of the body. It serves for protection, insulation, thermal regulation, excretion, the production of vitamin D. Melanin in the skin provides the skin color and protects the underlying tissue from absorbing ultraviolet rays. It stores fat in the layers next to the underlying tissue. It allows individuals to experience sensations of touch, temperature, pain, and pressure. The hair on the head provides protection by acting as a heat insulator. Your eyebrows keep perspiration out of the eyes. Your eyelashes protect the eyes from foreign objects. Hairs in the nasal passages filter out dust and harmful microorganisms. The fingernails protect the tips of the hands. And the teeth aid in breaking up food to begin the digestive process. Some disorders of the integumentary system are bacterial infections such as acne or impetigo. Decubitus ulcers or bed sores or pressure ulcers. Viral infections. Rubella, chicken pox, herpes zoster, or shingles, fungal infections such as wingworm and athlete's foot, allergic reactions such as urticaria, dermatitis, eczema, and psoriasis, insect bites and burns, and skin cancers such as malignant melanoma. So, some common lab tests for the integumentary system include skin scraping, biopsy specimens, bacteriologic, viral or fungal tissue cultures, potassium hydroxide preparations, and biopsy staining procedures. And here's some examples of some conditions of the skin. So now let's creep on in with Mr. Skeleton. Our skeletal system, its structure and function is our bones, cartilage, joints, ligaments, and tendons. It serves the body in five major ways. Support, protection for the softer tissue, the brain and the lungs, movement and leverage, hemopoiesis, or blood cell formation in the bone marrow, and mineral storage for calcium. Disorders of the skeletal system include inflammatory conditions such as osteoarthritis, bursitis, and gout, bacterial infections such as osteomyelitis, porous bone conditions such as osteoporosis. You can have fractures, developmental conditions, giantism or dwarfism, scoliosis, rickets, or tumors. And here's some illustrations of our uh, skeletal system um, disorder. Some of the lab tests for disorders of the skeletal system include serum calcium, phosphate level, uric acid, vitamin D, alkaline phosphate level, anti-nuclear antibody, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, 
complete blood cell count, microbial cultures of bone marrow or synovial fluid, and microscopic and cytogenic analysis. That's all I have for you guys today. So your assignment is going to be to identify which lab tube you would draw labs in for the disorders of the integumentary system and for the skeletal system. Draw your tubes, color the um, tubes correctly, and identify any uh, additives. Okay, now, I will see you guys next lecture.